Welcome back to St. Louis Rams football. It is week 14. The season is winding down, and the Rams play only their second game of the year against the team from the AFC. Today is the New England Patriots at 8-4, facing our 10-2 St. Louis Rams. And today, I want to see a lot more from Sam Bradford. His last two games have been a combined 273 yards, no touchdowns, three picks. We won those two games, but we're gearing up for a playoff run, and our quarterback has to play better if we're going to do any damage. How will this Rams pass defense hold up against Tom Brady and the New England Patriots? They may not have a bunch of big name targets, but they will spread us out and challenge us, and they of course have Tom Brady. First and 10, Brady on the run, and Brady goes down. That's what we need today, the pass rush. This time it's Michael Brockers. They bring the tight end in motion on third down and 11. Brady back to pass, no rush to the outside, and Jarrell Jernigan makes the grab, and he's across the 50 for a Patriots first down. I think we have excellent cornerback depth, so it's no big deal that they're spreading us out. Brady, however, has way too much time as Danny Amendola underneath wide open, another Patriots first down. We've gotten to Brady once, but on every other snap, he's had way too much time. Now underneath, Amendola makes the catch, spin, move, and fumble! The Rams have it, turnover, it's TJ McDonald on the return across the 30 and down at the 34-yard line. This was a big hit from Ty Zimmerman, and the Rams will take over. That's one way to stop the drive. And now Sam Bradford back to pass for the first time today. Outside, nice pass to Jared Cook. And that is a quick hit for a first down. At midfield, Bradford fakes to Ben Tate. Incoming rush and Bradford goes down. Sam Bradford enters with 16 touchdown passes, 10 picks. Patriots blitz on second and long. Bradford underneath, caught by Austin, juke outside. Now up the sideline, and Austin across the 30. Tavon Austin, touchdown! A 60-yard connection. Austin did most of the work, and that is the first score of the day. Tavon Austin crosses 1,000 yards on the season, somehow turning this into a touchdown. He's a special player. We capitalize on the fumble, it's Patriots ball from the 36. Tom Brady, the Danny Amendola, right back to him, and he hangs on, taking the TJ McDonald hit. Now at the 48, 545 to play in the first quarter. Brady again, clean pocket, but good coverage downfield, and time runs out as Robert Quinn gets his fourth sack on the season. Patriots go empty backfield on third down and 12 from their own 46. Brady underneath the Hausler, first down across the 40, and the drive will continue. The Patriots will use a combination of many different tight ends and really challenge our linebackers if we keep them out there. There's another one, Wesley Saunders down to the 19-yard line, another first down for New England. In the red zone as Brady again back to pass, it's a screen. Caught by Shane Vereen, he is tackled right away, no gain on the play. Brady has made some big conversions already on third down. Here's another chance, needing 10. Brady with no rush. Outside the Jernigan, up across the five. Touchdown, Patriots. This game is tied. You put a good offensive line in front of a future Hall of Fame quarterback, it doesn't really matter who he's throwing it to. They've got some talented players, but we've got to do a lot better, especially pressuring Brady. The game is tied. Rams ball, we go to the toss. Tate to the outside across the 35 and tackled from behind, but he does get enough for the first down. Tate enters over 1,000 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. Now Bradford back to pass, and Stedman Bailey, who has had a couple of rough weeks, drops the pass. Last play of the first quarter is the I formation handoff. Tate across the 50. Again, a first down carry into Patriots territory. Both offenses off to a great start. Now in the second quarter, Bradford fakes the Tate underneath, and Bailey makes the catch. We have to build up his confidence again, get him these easy ones. At the 31-yard line, Bradford inside. Carlos Hyde this time, and the Patriots were ready for it. Darian Stewart, the ex-Ram, makes the hit. Austin Pettis in the game, man in motion. Extra blockers for Bradford, only three receivers downfield, and from his blind side, there it is. Walker makes the sack. And that forces third down and 17. Austin Thomas and Cook bunched up to the right. Bradford back to pass. With time, Bradford lobbing in for Bailey, and he can't make the catch in traffic. Bailey drops another one, and now Greg Zerlon from long range, 56 yards, and the Rams have retaken the lead. It's 10 to 7 here in the second quarter. Patriots ball. Both offenses really have not had much trouble moving the ball. Brady to Josh Boyce who makes the grab in traffic. A nice catch. 
At the 38, Saunders in motion. They go to the I formation to try to run the ball, actually. It's Vereen to the outside, and Laurinaitis shoves him down for a short gain. Vereen takes a seat on the bench, no empty backfield. Rams bring four. Brady somehow gets this pass to Hausler, and that's another first down for New England. Brady working some magic, now almost in Rams territory. Brady middle, caught by Jernigan inside the 40 first down. It can be very hard to stop this quick passing game. In Rams territory, Brady to the outside, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Laurinaitis almost picks it off. A 3-4 look from the Rams on third down and 10. Rams bring the blitz, but Brady has time, and that pass is picked off. T.J. McDonald has a fumble recovery, and now his fourth interception on the season. That's the Patriots' second turnover in Rams territory. Can the Rams turn this one into points as well? 6-4 to the play in the first half. Rams up by three. Bradford fakes. Fantastic job of the O-line, and Bradford buying time finds Tavon Austin outside and has a first down in Patriot territory. Rams go to a twin tight end set, first and ten. Patriots blitz. Bradford clean pocket to Thomas outside. That's good for nine. Now that this game is actually being played, I realize how good of an offensive matchup this really is. Now Taylor the delay, draw up the gut, and he gains seven yards to the 30. The difference in this game right now is the turnovers, of course, and the Rams have a running game. First and 10, Bradford out of the pocket. Stedman Bailey drops it! In and out of the hands again! What has been the issue with Stedman Bailey? Second down, Tate carrying to the right side. Bulldozing Patriots inside the 10! Touchdown, Ben Tate! How about that, his 11th touchdown run? Maybe his most fun to watch on the entire season. This lowers the shoulder, and I don't think he lost any speed. Rams up by 10 now late first half, less than four minutes to play in the second quarter as Shane Vereen carries to the right side as they try to get their ground game going. Vereen picks up a few, it's good enough for a first down. Offset eye on first down and 10 for Brady. To the outside, it's Jernigan turning up across the first down marker. Good tackle by Ty Zimmerman. This drive is very critical for the Patriots as the Rams do get the ball to open the third quarter. Brady chased on first down and Robert Quinn with his second sack on the day. The pass rush comes in short spurts, now third down and long, and they go to the ground. Vereen carries, and that play was going nowhere. Everson Griffin stopped it. The Rams are given a chance to extend their lead. They're up by 10, 90 seconds left. Sam Bradford to Jared Cook, and he's lit up at the 37-yard line and drops it. Can the Patriots get a big stop? It's third down and three. Bradford, quick throw outside. It's Tavon Austin standing right at the marker, and he gets the first down easily. Rams running hurry up, they have two timeouts remaining as Bradford in the pocket again has time and Stedman Bailey over the middle makes the reception and the Rams are back in Patriot territory. Now 40 seconds left for St. Louis as the Patriots with a zone blitz dialed up and Bradford has no chance, he goes down. To save time, the Rams trying to get back to the line quickly, third down and 11 at the 48. Bradford, extra blockers, Tate and Cook in to help as Bradford sliding out of the pocket to his left and Bailey downfield makes the catch. The Rams use a timeout and here comes Greg Zerline to add three points to their lead. Greg Zerline, left hash, kick is up. It is 20 to seven at the half and the Rams get the ball to open the third. As I've said, both offenses are playing well but the Rams defense has created two big turnovers. The third quarter is set to begin as the Rams lead by 13. In the first half, Sam Bradford was 11 of 17 for 172 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. This is the performance I was looking for, at least through the halfway point. Third quarter is underway as Sam Bradford is sacked once again, and the Rams face a third down and 17. Patriots trying to get a big stop and get the ball back in the hands of Brady as the Rams needing 17 go to the screen. Pete gets a block from Richardson and with his speed picks up the first down just shy of the 35 yard line. The Rams just have so much talent. They have a player for every situation. First and 10, Bradford gets hit and that pass is nearly picked off and luckily it wasn't. High formation, this typically leads to a run as it is Carlos Hyde up the middle leading the way for Ben Tate who only picks up a couple. St. Louis goes three wide on third down and eight. Again, the Patriots send the blitz. Bradford to Austin, across the 40. You thought 60 yards was fun? 64 this time from Tavon Austin, his second long touchdown on the day. One of his best performances of the season. 
And X-Ram Darian Stewart really screwed this up by taking out his own man. And Austin easily went to the end zone. 27-7. But of course, they have Tom Brady at the helm. So no lead is going to keep me comfortable for now. Although this team is playing very well. Now third down and inches. Vereen to the left. But Darren Bates comes through. And he stops Vereen for a loss. Bates earned his second start. And he continues to dominate against the run. Rams take over, they're up by 20. Tate carrying on first down and 10. He's showing off the power as he picks up nine. Tate now nearing 1,300 yards on the season. Fake to Ben Tate, Bradford slinging to Tavon Austin. First down across the 35, 169. 200 is nearing. Second down, Tate carrying, trying the left side as he picks up a medium gain. It'll be third and four. Austin, Bailey, and Thomas are the wideouts. Patriots send four. Sam Bradford taking a shot to the end zone, and it's nearly picked off by Devin McCourty. Couldn't get both feet down. The Rams had a field goal. This is a 23-point lead just over the midway point in the third quarter. Brady and the Pats offense has some work to do as Jernigan makes the grab, and he almost has the Patriots back in Rams territory. Rams come out in his zone defense on first and 10. Brady underneath. Nobody covers Shane Vereen, and he has a Patriots first down to the 37. Twin tight ends. Rams in their base 4-3 defense. Brady again. Plenty of time in the pocket. Outside. Caught by Wesley Saunders inside the 20. Red zone time. 335 remains in the third quarter. Brady from the shotgun. To Danny Amendola underneath. Good tackle by Jenkins. It'll be third down and short. Patriots need a big conversion to keep the drive moving as Vereen carries, and this time he's put down by Ty Zimmerman, again short of the marker. New England only adds a field goal, the Rams playing great against the run, and now Tavon Austin two yards deep. Out of the end zone he comes on the far side, across the 20, and Austin met hit hard and put down as Austin is hurt on the play and has to leave the field. It's Stedman, Bailey, and Demarius Thomas to open the drive as the Rams come out twin tight end and give it to Ben Tate up the gut as he falls forward for a gain of six. But hopefully Austin can return to this game, although we are up by 20. It's Tate again, not going down on first contact as he picks up another first down. Austin Pettis getting a chance. He's in the slot on first down and 10 as the Patriots send the blitz. And Bradford wide open as Austin Pettis across midfield. And Austin Pettis gains 28 yards on his first catch of the day. We are now in the fourth quarter. Rams up by 20 in driving. Bradford fakes. Throwing metal. It's tipped out of the hands of Ellison and picked off by Carlos Dansby. Oh my goodness, a freak interception. As the Patriots trying to make this game interesting, a clutch turnover. They needed this one badly, so Tom Brady comes out. The Pats are down by 20. They spread us out. 13 minutes to play. Brady in the shotgun underneath and wide open is Saunders tripping up field as he is down at the 35-yard line. Rams safety is playing very shallow as they now fall back into his zone. With time, Brady. Sideline for Johnson. One hand against his feet down. That is a great catch. In the red zone, over 11 minutes to play. Rams try to blitz, but Brady to Hausler, wrapped up at the five-yard line as the Patriots near closer. Now at the one, the Pats eye a touchdown. Second down and goal, Brady blitzed. Outside and a man wide open and missed him in the end zone. Very uncharacteristic, now third down and goal. And a toss for Vereen, get a big block on Zimmerman. And Shane Vereen is in for six as the Patriots make this a two-score game and capitalize on the interception. Rams up by 13 now, over nine minutes to play. Bradford stretch handoff, it's Tate to the left side as he picks up maybe four, so third down for the Rams. Hopefully we can avoid a bad pass this time. Thomas in motion, Bradford back to pass. Inside pressure and Bradford is dropped. They get a huge three and out stop following the interception and the score. So the Patriots make this very interesting. Good coverage and quick pressure. New England has made big plays in the fourth quarter. Down by 13, Brady back to work in the air. With time, he finds Johnson downfield. Zimmerman misses inside the 25 and put down at the 23. There's still a lot of time left in this game. Empty backfield for Brady. Rams bring three. Brady the Hausler over the middle. Inside the five and the Patriots are back at the two yard line of St. Louis. Can they punch it in for the second straight drive? I formation, fake to the fullback. Vereen outside, touchdown Patriots. 
This is a one score game all of a sudden as the Patriots have made a game out of this. Just like that, New England makes this a six point game. Six minutes to go, Tate carrying, and he lost the football, and the Patriots recovered. This is not happening right now. New England has completely turned the tides of this game as Ben Tate has a rare fumble, and Tom Brady is 30 yards away from pulling off this comeback. We need some help from our defense. Brady with a lot of time, and finds a man open. It's Jernigan inside the 20, and tackled by Zimmerman at the 10. A delay of game backs up the Patriots five yards now at the 15 as Vereen toss left and he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He loses a couple on the run. Now Brady goes empty backfield from the 18. Four and a half to go. Ted Jernigan out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Now a critical third and goal. The Patriots come with three tight ends and they just run it. Vereen up the gut inside the 10. He gains about six but the Patriots play it safe and they'll sell it for the field goal. It's a three-point game. Please hold on to the football. Bradford gives the Tate across the marker. He hangs on and gains a first down. St. Louis just wants to run this clock out. Two tight ends lead the way for Tate. Great blocking by Ellison. First down for Ben Tate as he falls forward at the 45-yard line. The Patriots have to stop Tate again. First and 10. They creep the safety in the box. Up the gut as Ben Tate gains a few. Timeout New England. Second and seven from the Patriots, 42. Now they go left, it's Tate cutting inside and he picks up maybe three or four. Third down. A huge play for St. Louis in the I formation. Tate carries and he does not get the first down. It's fourth and one. And the Rams will be aggressive and go for the win right here on fourth down and one. Tate up the middle, first down Rams and Tom Brady will not get a chance to win the game. The St. Louis Rams hold on. It was nervous here late, but the Rams get the victory 30 to 27 and hold off Tom Brady in the Patriots defense. Oh boy, what a fourth quarter as the Rams almost choked this game away. An interception, three and out, and a fumble. The Patriots rallied in a hurry, but the Rams hold them off with Ben Tate avenging his fumble and helping end this game. I was happy with the offense, not the fourth quarter, the interception and the fumble and the three and outs, but Bradford played well today. I did not see a lot of bad throws. We had the big plays with Tavon Austin and Ben Tate played well on the ground, but Austin never returned to the game. He was hurt on that third quarter kickoff and did not return, and Tavon Austin has suffered an abdominal tear that will keep him out for the rest of the regular season. So he'll be back in the playoffs as we clinch the NFC West this week, but Tavon will not help us try to secure the number one seed in the first round bye. We have no Tavon Austin and no Odell Beckham, so now we're going to see a lot more of Austin Pettis, Ryan Spadola, and Mike Evans as we're testing our receiving depth now. Our next game is at home against the San Francisco 49ers, one of only two teams this year to beat us as we look for revenge after them ending our winning streak a few weeks ago. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the game. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys when we take on the 49ers and try to avenge the loss again of Tavon Austin. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.